put to sleep at the back of the field by Ryan Moore as they race through the first two and a half furlongs then and Cardini and Jamie Heffernan taking the field along here within second place bye bye Hong Kong who's tracked on the far side there by Phoenix of Spain to Darn Hop just cruising up then dark vision is off the bridle and being scrubbed along as two Darn Hop went past him and then behind is Van Beethoven but as they race on now towards the final two furlongs in the champagne, it's Cardini. Frankie's now asking to Darnot to engage Top Gear on the far side. Phoenix of Spain with Bye Bye Hong Kong. Here comes to Darnot with a withering run on the near side, which brings him to the front, approaching the final furlong. Phoenix of Spain on the far side is trying to make a race of it. Then Cardini and Bye Bye Hong Kong. Dark Vision, a bitter disappointment. And to Darnot is quickening clear in the closing stages and wins easily. The champagne, three out of three for two Darn Hart. Phoenix of Spain in second, Cardini third, and then Van Beethoven. It was billed as a chance for the hugely exciting two Darn Hot to further enhance his credentials for next season's classics, for which he is already the favourite, and he has done that in spades with a hands and heels victory here under Frankie de Tori. Uh, imperious in the finish, asked for his effort. The response was instantaneous. He wasn't going to go down without a fight, Cardini, at this stage. Phoenix of Spain running on on the far side, but in the end, he's just had too much ability for this field, and he's won comfortably in the end. I think that Phoenix of Spain is probably an average champagne stakes winner, an up-to-standard champagne stakes winner. And you've got to view it in that regard to really get the impression and the full effect of too darn hot because when he kicked into overdrive Gina that was something special it really was a spine tingling moment between about two and a half furlongs out and one and a half furlongs out when the accelerator was pushed down and he responded instantaneously and as an education this couldn't have gone better because a very different type of race from what he's faced before because they went so hard early on. Yeah, they went really fast in the early stage of the race. Um, they weren't going to make it easy for him. Cardini, Van Beethoven as well, and bye-bye um, Hong Kong. He was anxious not to let them get too far ahead, Frankie de Tori, but at the same time settling him into a really nice rhythm. When he asked for his effort, he just gives him a little flash of the whip in the closing stages, but he knew he was well on top at that stage, and this certainly augurs well for his big Group 1 targets towards the end of the season. It must be great to ride this horse, must yeah. it? Because you can put him anywhere in a race. And it's so important, that point I made, about the education, because this fella, it's Group 1 all the ways now for too darn hot. And to come through this so smoothly, so powerfully with his ears pricked at the end of it it couldn't have gone better for two down hot today and onwards and upwards group ones lie ahead will it be this year in the racing post trophy will it be next year in the 2000 guineas or further along the derby whichever way you cut it we're looking at a classic horse gina yeah, and we've seen some really exciting juvenile performances in recent weeks the likes of 10 sovereigns this horse, though, on what he's done today, and now we've managed to, to get a glimpse of him three times, is he the standout for you? Yeah, I'm afraid that this now is the new benchmark in the division. We'll have to crunch the numbers in terms of times, in terms of form ratings. Tune in for the Monday view for that, because we will delve deep into the figures behind two down hot. But sometimes it's just about gut instinct and feel, and everything about this horse, from how he looks to his relaxed demeanor to the way that he can kick in that overdrive, says, yeah, that man, John Gosden, has produced another monster. Yet another one to go to all with. Uh, looking understandably pleased with himself as he heads out onto track to greet this year's winner of the Champagne Stakes, Too Darn Hot.